Hello friends, in the previous video, we discussed how to use the platform IO. In this video, we will discuss how to install the external libraries using the platform IO. Open PIO Home from the left hand side. In the menu, click Libraries, search for PubSub Client and click on the search button. Let's say we want to install this library. So click on it. Just take the cursor on the down arrow icon of the install button and you will get install 2. Click on install 2. Here you will see a drop down with the default value as global storage. Click here and choose your project. In our case, it is my first NodeMCU project. The difference between choosing the global storage versus your own project is that if you choose the global storage, Library will be installed in a global storage and it will be visible for all the projects. On the contrary, if you choose your project, library will be visible only to your project. Now scroll down and click on the install button at the bottom. In few seconds, you will see the success message. To verify if the library is actually installed from the project in the left hand side, Expand this particular folder and you will see PubSub client library installed in your project. Next, we need to make an entry for this particular library in the platform io.ini file. But even before that, we need to see the name of the entry that we need to make. Click on the installation tab of the PubSub client and scroll it down and look for the selected values. You need to define lib underscore deps in the platform io.ini file. Under that, you can either define library name or id or the name with the specific version. Let's go with the library name. So I'm going to copy this piece of code. Open platform io.ini file and paste the code at the end of the file. If you notice, there are two spaces before the name. These spaces are important. You can also place a tab in place of the two spaces. If you remove the spaces, it will result in an error at the time of compiling the code. Now, let's open main.cpp file and include pubsubclient.h. Compile the program and you will see the success message. Now, Let's remove these spaces, save the file and recompile the program. You will see the error. Now let's place a tab before the library name, save it and recompile. And you will see the success message. So both double space and the tab before the library name are working. Now let me clear the console and let me show you the one last thing before I wrap up the video. From the left side menu, let's delete the library which we just installed. So now there is no library under this particular folder. Make sure that this entry is still there in the INI file. Now let's compile the program again. If you notice, it will download the required library first and then compiles the program. If you expand the folder on the left hand side, you will get to see the library again. In the next video, we will read the temperature and humidity values from DST22 sensor. Before you leave, I would request you to please like the video and subscribe my channel. After you subscribe, do click the bell icon to get the notifications about my latest videos. Thank you so much.